Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. So it's been a while, almost more than four months actually. I made any videos, so I apologize to my viewers, like everyone is asking, where am I, what am, why am I not posting anything? Well, what happens, like my daughter got married and in 99 days, uh, we have, we had to pull up like six different ceremonies and all those things so uh, it was a crazy time so I literally stopped making any videos or pouring or anything I did some resin work and if you see like my previous video four months back it was I was making some invitation boxes and that's it so after that I did not do anything so I um, today I am doing this um, awesome awesome collaboration the idea is like um, we are going to use the subs from um, TLP so I'm going to use pretentious this is so pretty let me show you the color so I am going to do, doing this collaboration um, see how pretty the colors are it's awesome so this is pretentious next one that I have uh, this is called boastful this is more greenish and there's this blue tone um, color coming through and the last one is let me see it's called pompous so these three sub colors that we are i am going to use along with other piggies uh, this one is of course my more all-time favorite groovy this one is emerald this one is from golden um Nicolaho gold and this one is um this is also a golden color i don't exactly remember the name because it's been again it was mixed four months ago so i don't remember the names but i would it's something sienna i'll write down the name on the description section so these are my color choices today um i am honored that I am doing this collaboration with these amazing artists and I'm sure you guys are watching you have watched some of the um, their work already and this is my turn so I will start and I'm really nervous today because as you know if you don't paint for a while it becomes a struggle so let's see what can we do so let me show you this first of all I have this um, covered on the back so I don't mess up the back side but this side I have I will paint so wish me luck Today I am using PPG Multi Pro as my base coat. I am now going to spread my base coat uh, pretty much everywhere because that will give me a better understanding of how my flowers are going to spread after I spin. I'm just spreading the paint everywhere. That's all I'm doing making sure all the sides are nice because that's important
I hope you guys are noticing that for each flower, I am layering the colors uh, randomly, completely different ways. Uh, what, uh, if you compare with each or compare them with each other, because I don't want all flowers look like the same. It's nice to have some uh, different uh, type of flowers in the same piece. So here we are, so pretty, right? Well, I'm, even if you don't like it, I like it, so that's okay. Next one, I'm going to do one here and one here, so. some close-up real-time shot by using the skewer I'm basically um, going from one flower to the next flower kind of intertwining them uh, among each other it makes the piece more interesting Time to spin. By spinning, I'm trying to get rid of as much paint as possible because on top of this layer, I'm going to pour another layer of light color flowers. And to do so, I must make sure that I don't have much um, extra paint on my surface because the next layer that i put um i will not be spinning that flower those flowers actually so i have to make sure that i don't have um, any extra paint 
before I do that layer. This time I'm going to layer a second set of flowers but this time the flower colors are going to be more uh, peach light peach whitish color because the bottom layer is really vibrant so it will give the three-dimensional pop I hope to the piece So from now on my steps are basically I will layer my colors and then I will blow and when I blow I blow very carefully I don't blow too hard because I am mindful about the flowers it will create on top of the um, other flowers and I don't have much options of fixing it because if I uh, mess up the top layer it will basically ruin the bottom layer as well because I cannot fix it so I'm very careful about how am I blowing my flowers and I'm trying to make sure that I blow not too hard it's kind of like you have to practice it a lot um, make sure that you are not blowing too hard at the same time make sure that your flower is moving um, if it makes any sense so I am blowing them and after I blow them I take my skewer and give the my uh, give the flowers a little bit of shapes and um, and start the next one so basically that's what I am doing for now and so far look at the like I said if I put the lighter color flowers on top of the dark ones it gives the piece a three dimensional look i hope it dries really well and i put three flowers at the center but i to me it looks really random composition wise so i'm thinking i'm going to put a couple more flowers towards the edges so it looks more cohesive by the way, those of you who are wondering about how am I blowing my flowers, I'm just blowing the flowers by my mouth. I just am not 
uh, the best dressed up when I paint so I don't feel comfortable showing myself so I asked my daughter to film me in an angle so you guys can see what's happening to the paint but basically I'm just blowing the flowers by my mouth <laughs> To go back and use winter heaven and embellish a little bit here and there after i embellish it with winter heaven because uh, some of the whites kind of faded i don't know why i just want to highlight them a little bit more after I do that, later on, I will go back and use a gold pen to uh, embellish the flowers here and there a little bit more. I think it will be really pretty. guys thank you so much for joining me today it was an honor to work with these amazing artists and please check my uh, description section for the next artist who will go um, uh, right after me and again i love you all thank you so much for coming here today <music>